the uh, CBCC test and the IAABC test, uh -huh. the behavior test, but I'm like, I know I need to learn more about the anatomy, but I'm like, oh. this isn't, rote memorization is not my forte. Hi. Oh my gosh, that's very cute. That's very cute. We're gonna let the puppies get the wiggles out. And then we'll go do some training. So what are you doing? Are you finding another toy for you? You can find another toy for you. That's a good toy for you. No. Oh, excuse me. No, thank you. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't think we'll ever have a problem with his jumping. But we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
I know they're right behind you. You're doing so well. You're doing so well. Oh, bizarre. Smarter. Keep up smarter. Right, so much potential there with the brains. Another tiny issue that we have for you is that we feel like you could used to be be a lighter dude for your hips and yet you're so motivated. Yeah, so one of the one of the things somebody said pointed out because I when I took the video of him I sent it to a couple to one of our vectors. Mm -hmm. And they were like, um he could also lose a couple pounds. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. not, it's not. I get it, but I do I really think that's the issue. <laughs> it, it's not the main issue, but but yeah, yeah it's a good job. Well, you're fine where you are, I think you're fine where you are. But I think it's hard to get in the exercise he needs. Right, right. Swimming. I want to get swimming. Oh yeah. Uh, She's sending him up to baby. Uh, baby. Uh, canine. What is that place? Yeah. <sighs> canine swim, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's two, there's one in Maryland, one in Virginia. Oh, Aquatics. Yeah. Canine Aquatics? Canine Aquatics. Yeah. Alright, maybe you want to try this again? Are you up with me? You'll be up with me? Yes. Well, do you want to walk? With me? He's not going to walk. Yes. That's yeah, more fun. fun.
Like they have some yard, they have lots of options. They have a nice lovely walk over there trails. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. He says, I don't do the leapover thing. Do you want to do this? You can do this. Yay, good job. Yay. You know, we could work on we could work on place with the floor mat with you. Where did the floor mat go? Where's the floor mat? Where did the floor mat go? No, she cleaned this house. Thank you. You're so helpful. Thank you. Nice to meet you.
because of a very boring view. Let me turn you.
so healthy. I worked in the, where I was at in the National Zoo too. We had a building that was supposed to be open in 2019. Yes. And I left in 18 yes. and I can still so not It just takes a little, construction is always longer than you think. Yes. Well, fundraising is always longer than yes. construction is delayed and then there's permitting and, and then you need like some kind of City yes. thing to approve it. Oh, no. Yes. Say, is this architecturally yes. sound? Okay. Yeah. Do you know where they're planning on building it? Yeah. I, yeah. I've been told that it doesn't stay in my brain. Yeah, same. The way, I mean, I left for the last time in 2013, and they, uh, I contacted as a staff member, and they, it was supposed to be like a Winter Spain neuter clinic used to be, which might still be there in Southeast, like uh, Navy Yard. Or oh, yes, actually, I think that is where it is. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right, 
mostly because now my whole kitchen is now a, a doggy treadmill, the food and pet buttons. Mary's starting to look at me like, that is a kitchen, you know that, right? And I'm like, how are the dogs like in the treadmill? A doggy treadmill, wow. So we, wow. we were lucky and we got a, a doggy treadmill from a, a client. Uh -huh. um, the dogs love the treadmill. God doesn't like to run on it, but walk, jog, trot. She can go through her paces. She's still not sure about yes. um, oh. running, running on it. Lemon, 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 just, lemon just goes like this on it. She's like, she's happy as a clown. Happy as a clown. <laughs> um, and I've got both the dogs now, like, I actually realized um, they're doing it completely voluntary. There's no even, I took off the overhead bar, because you could actually tell the overhead bar, I mean, actually bought the like, what the heck is this thing over me? Yeah. So, and she has learned, we've got a mat set up, when I run them on it, I have a mat set up on next to it, so now they're hopping on and off it while it's moving safely. But I've got them to hop on and off of it, but they love it. They also, um, we just added our, uh, we're now up to six words on the fluid pet buttons. To help the dogs being able to, uh, so there's a couple of different, there's a couple of different dogs out there. What about Bunny is one, Hunger for Words is a yes. second. But they're kind of they're diving into how how do dogs use and interpret English language uh -huh. and solve buttons that have words associated with the buttons. Um, what about buttons? The absolute most fascinating to see, but because she's working on now, later, morning, afternoon, friend, stranger, and then like all the obvious outside ball, tug, sound. Um, but we just added our sixth button. And I made like five mistakes teaching it. It was just differentiating between toys. And then, then she got it. Like nine minutes, like nine minutes into it, you tell like she got it. She's like, oh, oh, this means you get me the ball. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, right now my uh, dining room slash kitchen looks like a giant dog training room. <laughs> Gotta push Mary into the back. Two acre property. Uh huh. Back. With a training garage that is temperature controlled, that would be amazing. That would be mm -hmm. amazing. That would be nice. I need to do it. I really like it. Uh, the treadmill is still great. I don't know. I don't know that I'll end up keeping the treadmill because I'm kind of like because my dogs get enough exercise without it. Yeah. It was a Ooh. fun thing That's to nice. teach. I taught it with the intention of, can I switch Bug over to running alongside me on a scooter? Yeah. And I think, well, let, let's let him train for another minute. And uh, that all worked out well. He's doing some training. Right. So, yeah, so there might be one, one I, one I'll, I know a couple of clients that might potentially buy it too, so I'll probably check them first. Yeah. Well, almost now or so. I also, so the treadmill that I got from the client is also, it's an electric one, you push the button and it goes at certain speeds. And if I had the money and the space, I would get a slack mill one that's totally dog driven. I would not. But I was like, this one, this one, this just, the situation worked out. I'm like, oh, I've never trained this, let me see if I can do it. Right, I would just turn yeah. it out. Right, it was fun to do, but I would, hands down, I'm like, if you can find, find one and afford one, I would do a slap mill. Or a carpet mill. Either or, but I would rather have a dog powered one. It's been super hard trying to figure out what Bub's running pace is. Mm. On what do you say? No, no. the treadmill. <gasps> he what do you say? It's a play time. Let's go say hi again. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Here you go, Russell. <laughs> the lab said, but, but we were in the food motivated training mode. We did all the training. It's so good. It's so wonderful. Hello, my friends. I've been listening to more and more stuff that's talking about um, heavy bone dogs, you know, generally having more, you know, city appropriate that temperaments. That and like, a lot of good <laughs> data points to basically say, like, why aren't we breeding heavy bone, bone dogs? So dog. maybe that's why there's more labs like that now. Is there selecting more for temperament than oh, that field like, like, look? Like how you bred the foxes down to get the white floppy eared foxes because their temperament is more domesticated? Right, like there's a pretty good good collection of information that that equals. Do they know it's linked? 
No, I don't think they do know it's linked, but I think there's, a, like I said, there's enough there, like why aren't we breeding more heavy bone dogs, right? Like, also I think too, claws dogs that tend to be a little bit more sensitive, a little bit flightier, a little bit more environmentally sensitive tend to be the really light bone dogs, right? And most of the stuff is under, that I've been listening to is just talking a lot about how the world has changed and how a French lot of are to be popular because why a lot of our dog breeds is it ethical to keep breeding them for a nostalgia reason when they are not suited for 80% of the population which now lives in a high density area right. doesn't live rural it's like should we be breeding you know border collies for for agility, for the agility. Australian right. shepherds, right. Yes. and bringing them into the city, and then watching them, their minds melt. Yeah, and right. complain about barking, like that's not Malada. That is right. what they were bred to do. <laughs> but, oh, what a good dog. Controversial, yes. controversial stuff. Which I love. Well, passionate people would don't like to hear it. Passionate people what? People are passionate about a breed, don't oh, like yeah. to hear the. No, and I bet a lot of them too are like the homes for them, right? It's like the Tulsas that we were just talking about. I bet there is a usefulness to them <laughs> in certain <laughs> yeah. things, but maybe not. <laughs> not dog fighting. <laughs> I had, and I, I probably would pick a Tulsa because it's not my breed, yeah. but if I had yeah. five, ten acres, <laughs> if I had five, ten acres of that country, I'd probably have a couple bigger dogs to yeah. watch the property. Yeah. I want that, but I, my, right. I would get checked. Yeah. Right. Because I just asked them to get that much about the mastiff look. I love <coughs> the big burly look. I just don't like the lifespan. The slobber. Uh, I guess it's part of the thing. Yeah, because they like to be a eight or ten. Right? Yeah, it's like can't, I can't I handle the I lives to six or seven. I know. I, I like that look too, but they, they really don't like it. Yeah. Good job. Good job, puppies. Good job. I do feel so, I still feel so conflicted about it. I love looking at dog breeds. I don't know if I'll ever buy one. <laughs> I'll just look at them for the next 50 years. <laughs> Aaron tells me this week we saw a cattle dog in the car. It's actually oh, pretty nice cattle dog. She's like, listen. Yeah. You know, and you're like, like that's a lab. <laughs> you keep walking off. I look at the rescue and she was I would have taken her home in a heartbeat ooey gooey I'm like you must be mixed with a cavalier like but she looked spot on like a catalog oh they're so nice he's holding his weight up It's like you took my friend. Yeah, it's my friend. Oh, that was very actual. My goodness. I'm impressed. My goodness. We didn't know you could move that far, my dude. So cute. These two boys. Jerry and Robert. That's a lovely little They're so cute. I think if you guys um, know of anyone in the area who's doing. Any vets you'd recommend? I, of course I have Palisades, but a lot of places are just totally booked out. And it's Palisades and Claire. And then I love Dr. Tammy Lee, who's from Home Creek uh, Mobile, but she's booked. She booked too? Okay. Yeah, I like, I like Dr. Dr. Lee, who's now at Silver Spring with Dr. Krishna, who's also a lot of Their prices are reasonable. Yeah. I miss you. I miss you. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, well, we took a turn there. We're being a little mom, but we did, we did switch. It's like I got him. We did a little poll reversal. I think uh, Milo's yeah, panicking a little bit. I don't think that Milo can do it. Okay, I'm She's like, you don't have a call, lover. Milo! Did you do it? Hi, Daddy. Like I'm back. I love how they just kind 
both like jump and pop off the other one. Boom. This is going to be hard to play, but they're not quite as that line down. So if you want to dance it, you go kind of. Yes, like, I think you just lay down and mouth press it. Right. I mean, just with the thrill. Right. So then not. No, we got lots of back foot action going on. Saying, you do off and you do off and you we're all a little afraid that I was going to fall down. Good fall. Take a break. Take a break. Oh, it's so tough. He really does. He like goes to the corner of the ring. He's like, retain my hands, guys. Let's go back. The drama. Never seen her sleep back here. Gabby Penton. Yeah. I wasn't gonna do it on the weekends, and then I'm like, you know what? She hates the noise of the gates. I'm like, yeah. I should try it. Ever since she's been sleeping in here. What's her dose? Three <laughs> hundred. Okay. Really? Well, they they recommended three hundred for him. Wow. So. Because mine is probably one hundred twice a day for the so. foot So she said because it's not pain issue, it's yeah. a noise issue. She's like, it's going to be higher than the pain dose. And she's like, it might make her super sleepy. I'm like, it doesn't. It lets her sleep. Period. Yeah. But we had a, so there was a house two doors down that they completely um, took down. Oh, oh my God. And they, the they completely took down the new building. So she was up at 7 a.m. And I'm like, man, I, I, I just thought it was breaking my heart. And they wanted, and then, like, Silvio is not cutting it. I was so happy when Dr. Pence was here with the other kind of like. Do you guys know what cheese sounds like? You had cheese before, haven't you? She was back outside laying on the bed. Drop! And then that seat, Dave, that's starting to fall down. Like, I don't know. And she's back outside and holding on. The baby's stuck there, like, immediately next to her. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't think Lemon really wants you jumping on her crate. This one likes cheese. Oh, we need to um, we need ah. to we need to work on some not jumping on the counters. Ah. Is that what we're hearing? Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, ugh. Gabby Penton is my new best friend ever. Just situationally. But yeah, she's never slept before on the weekend. Or all the breeds that are normally 
hearing issues. The peer I was a little surprised about. What? Who were you surprised about? The Deaf Pyrenees. But it's the same Deaf Pyrenees that we've been working with for the past year. They never came back to class. They, they went to... And it is time for pickup.